Hi, Angel here for Tech Reporter TV. I'm um, at Huawei right now at IFA 2015 in Berlin. And in front of us, we've got the new Huawei MediaPad M2 that was introduced about a month ago, two months ago in China, it will be available in Europe. Now starting at 279 euros, and I guess the same uh, price in US dollars will um, count for the United States if it will be available there. I am not sure, but it will be available in Asia and in Europe. Since we have the whole package here, um, we can just do an unboxing video, not just a hands-on video, so that you can see what's inside the box and how it looks like. It has this um, yeah, black box like all the new uh, Huawei devices. So let's start with the unboxing. Let's put out the tablet out of the box. We've got this plastic here already unwrapped. Then we have inside a micro USB to USB 2.0 a cable and the charger of course and that's pretty much it I'm sure in the uh, final version there's also a warranty guide and quick start guide and the warranty stuff inside it's not in here right now but that doesn't really matter um, the fact is we don't get a cover like with most tablets sadly but yeah like with most tablets so let's take a closer look at the Huawei MediaPad M2 itself. As I said, it will be available for 279 euros, starting at 279 euros. Um, that's for the Wi-Fi version with 2 gigabyte of memory and 32 gigabyte of internal, uh, 16 gigabyte of internal storage. But there will also be a premium version with 3 gigabyte of memory and 32 gigabyte with a gold metal uh, back. And yeah, that one will be a little more expensive. There are also LTE versions of this tablet available. And I'm pretty sure that you will be able to make phone calls with those, but maybe not. All right, let's uh, take a closer look around the device. We've got an eight inch display over here. It has a full HD resolution, like almost all Huawei devices, the better ones at least. So we have 1920 by 12,000 pixels. Then inside runs a Kiwi 930 processor. That's not the 935 that's in the Huawei Mate S, for example, but the 930 should have an okay performance as well. Well, especially for that price. And then, as I said, the two gigabyte or three gigabyte of memory and 16 to 32 gigabyte of internal storage, depending on the version you're getting. We've got a two megapixel front camera over there, then the Huawei logo on the bottom. And the design here kind of looks like the design of the Huawei um, Ascent Mate 7 that was introduced last year, a six inch smartphone. So it had the white bezel too, and it looked quite similar actually, just a little bit smaller. Let's go around the device. We've got a micro SD card slot behind this lid. The same goes for the SIM card slot if you have the LTE version. Then we have a volume rocker, a power button. On this side is the micro USB port, a speaker, a headset port, and then nothing on this side. And on the bottom only a speaker and a microphone. On the back we see a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flashlight and it's, the back is aluminium and it feels quite nice actually but the bezel around is uh, made out of plastic. It still has a pretty good feel to it. It feels a little bit more high-end than the Huawei MediaPad T1 8.0 Pro um, that I reviewed a couple of months ago. Um, I think that one was a little bit cheaper. This one's a little bit more expensive and it feels a little bit more high-end. It's actually quite similar to the Huawei MediaPad X1 and X2. So the build quality is quite good. Let's take a look um, at the software on here. It runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. I hope you can see a little bit because it's quite bright outside here. Um, and the display is set to the yeah, brightest level. So on here runs Lollipop, um, pretty new version 5.1.1. And of course, on top of it, the Emotion UI, that's the interface that Huawei puts on top of all of their devices. There are a couple of differences to vanilla Lollipop. For example, you don't have the app drawer. All of the apps land directly on the home screen if you install them from the Play Store or have some on here already. Um, that's similar to um, Apple, of course, with iOS, and also Lenovo previously had a similar interface. So that's one difference. Another difference is everything looks a little bit different, kind of like all Huawei devices. They all have this Emotion UI. Um, you can change the design. Um, there are a couple of 
them are on the device already and then uh, you can download them from the internet as well some of them look quite nice and yeah i actually like the design even though it does not uh, resemble lollipop at all there are a couple of um, special features as well for example if you press this multitasking button here uh, for a long time then you can use the multi window feature um, for example you can watch a video and surf the web at the same time that's quite a nice feature something that uh, samsung had for a long time now also lg offers it and huawei as well all the windows tablets of course as well what's um, not that nice is that you can't open all apps inside this multi-window feature for example you couldn't wouldn't be able to watch a youtube video and then use google hangouts to um, yeah, chat with your friends only a couple of apps are acceptable um, that's not the best but at least you have some kind of real multitasking uh, yeah, capability here and that's pretty much it um, that are the most important features of the Huawei MediaPad M2, as I said, it will be available for 200, starting at 279 euros. All right, if you have any questions, please write me in the comments. I will try to answer them and yeah, subscribe for this, to this YouTube channel for further videos from Huawei, but also from IFA at Hoa. There's still a couple of days to go here at IFA and we will take a closer look at the Lenovo tablets and so on. I'm Andre for Tech Reporter TV. Thanks for watching.